at the Colonial School District have spent months preparing for the safe return to school for our students. But the new normal will look very, very different. And that's why we prepared this instructional video. We're excited to have our kids back. But as usual, our goal is to keep our students and staff safe during these unprecedented times. School buses will be thoroughly sanitized from top to bottom each day, and high-touch areas will be disinfected between every bus run. When buses arrive in the morning to pick up your student, they should be standing six feet apart at the bus stop. An easy way to teach them to judge that distance is for them to hold up both arms without their hands touching the hands of another child. Students are asked to use their own hand sanitizer while waiting at the stop before they board the bus. All seats will be assigned as a mandatory procedure. Everyone, including the driver and aide, must wear a face covering unless they have been identified as having a physical or cognitive disability that prevents them from doing so. When students get on the bus, they will be directed to walk to their assigned seat, sitting one seat per child. Students that board the bus first during the first run will be assigned seats furthest to the back of the bus, allowing the bus to be loaded from the back to the front. Students will sit in the same assigned seat in both the morning and afternoon. To maintain three feet distance on the bus, one child will sit near the window in one seat, while another will sit near the aisle in the seat in front of them. This means about 23 to 27 students will be on one bus depending on its size, along with the driver. All bus riders will be told their bus number and pickup and drop-off times before school starts. When buses pull up to the schools, students will unload from the front to the back of the bus, one at a time. The first child off will look and walk directly into the designated entrance. When arriving at school, many of our students are used to physically greeting everyone. Classmates and staff get a high five, sometimes a fist pump, or even a big hug. Unfortunately, under the new normal, that just isn't safe anymore. So from now on, the universal greeting in Colonial will be this, a hand over your heart. From the bus or the drop-off area for car riders, students will walk socially distanced apart in a single file line to their classrooms. Once inside the classrooms, students will be seated six feet apart from each other. Students will also place their belongings, like book bags, in containers beneath or beside their desks. Materials like pencils and paper will be provided by teachers. This way, no materials are shared among students. Adults in the classroom will wear a mask at all times. All students in grades K through 8 must also wear a mask throughout the entire day, while students in preschool are strongly encouraged to wear a face mask. All students will remain in the same classroom or instructional area for the majority of the day. Buildings are working to develop schedules for recess or outdoor breaks, but students will need to remain with their class. Students in grades 9 through 12 who attend designated classes on designated days are required to wear face masks as well. Nutrition Services staff will deliver meals to elementary classrooms where students will eat individually wrapped items for breakfast and lunch. No snacks will be available for purchase at the elementary level. Wilbur and Wilmington Manor will have kiosk carts stationed at different entry locations for breakfast service. Middle school students will go to a kiosk placed in hallways near their classrooms to reduce hall movement. Barcode scanners will be used instead of pin pads. Students will be provided a card which has a barcode on it which identifies them or they may use the SchoolCath app on their phones. Snacks will only be available for purchase in grades 6 through 8. All payments must be made online. No cash will be accepted on site. Children may bring packed lunches, but nothing containing peanuts is allowed because of students and staff who may have severe allergies. Parents with children who have food allergies must make sure the school is aware in writing immediately. We would like to remind families that healthy breakfasts and lunches are available at no charge to Colonial students. High-touch areas in classrooms and instruction areas will be sanitized with disinfectant spray after meals and every 15 minutes up to two hours, depending on the activity of students at the time. Older students will be taught how to help. Families are asked to send a full water bottle clearly marked with their child's name on it. If students need more water, it will be provided. 
For safety reasons, all water fountains will be shut down. At the end of the day, all students will be escorted or directed out of the building by their teacher or paraprofessional to the bus line where they will stand socially distanced before they board the buses the same way they did at the beginning of the day. Students will also social distance in the car rider line. We are asking families who can drive their students to school to do so to reduce bus runs. That means pack your patience because pickup and drop-offs may take a little more time. Students who are driven to the school will follow the same entering and exiting procedures that bus riders do. After dismissal, custodians will use a battery-powered disinfectant wand to sanitize all instructional areas and offices for the next day. Thanks to the spirit behind Colonial's power of we, we must work together to keep students and staff safe. We encourage you to share this video with your children now to practice our new Colonial greeting, social distancing, and wearing masks for long periods of time while they are at home. Keep in mind, the course that COVID-19 takes may change our plans, so continue to listen to my robocalls, monitor your child's Facebook page, and our website at www.colonialschooldistrict.org. I'm Lauren Wilson, your Public Information Officer for the Colonial School District.